Deaf people groups from many areas of the world are similar in their views of deafness. Palestine is no different. Both the U.S. and Palestine are similar in their interest of sign language. This is mainly due to the linguistic meaning behind many signs. In Palestinian sign language, for example, woman, girl, bread, house, taxi. These signs hold linguistic meaning for Palestine, similar to signs here in the U.S., such as house, America, boy, girl. And because sign language is a visual gestural language, it allows for ease in learning. Those signs may be very different. Facial expressions and gestures are universal. Linguistic meaning behind these signs also helps you to understand the culture, where a spoken language can be very different. Students in the U.S. who are learning American Sign Language did not have difficulty understanding and picking up signs in LIF, or Palestinian Sign Language, though you must study this language from week to week to be able to remember these signs. So we found that making a video to study the signs on our own was helpful to remember signs from week to week. And relationships are developed between these two groups of people easily when communication is possible. Name signs are a way to remember names when the alphabet and letters are very different between two languages. For example, the Arabic alphabet and the English alphabet is very different. So we found that creating name signs uh, were easier in developing these relationships. Name signs are hand shapes that are made to match a person's personality or what they look like. And so overall, students from both cultures have been very surprised at how easy it is to learn another sign language. Creativity, facial expressions, gestures, props, uh, props such as uh, when we were learning foods, we actually brought food from home to show. Uh, when we were learning animal signs, we brought in a visual dictionary to show which animal we were talking about. And these have all been ways to learn each other's languages and cultures.